we're going to welcome in uh, 9225. By the way, uh, this was, I think, one of my favorite teams last year coming in. I saw as a newer team coming into FTC. Really blew us away, uh, especially early on. I saw them at one of their qualifiers. So can't wait to see what you're all working on here. Why don't you introduce yourselves? Let us know what you've been working on, how it's working out for you. Uh, I'm Vance, and our design this year is kind of like an arm to get it up high. So it's got, like, think of it, elbow, wrist, arm. And it gets up high, and it can pull down under, so we don't have to worry about the door at all. And we used our last year's chassis, so we didn't have to build a drive to fit. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in first scholarship. Scholarship applications will open in September. Get ready to go pro and get more information at kettering.edu slash first. I have the intake, me and Brandon here. Um, worked on this. I'm Luke. He's Brandon. The idea here, the idea here is, so first this has the wrist. So. All right, here, here, I'll explain it. So we have a wrist here. So this will connect to the actual arm if you want to like show how this, so that way we can angle it to like the nicely. We won't lose any. Uh, it has, it's kind of a simple claw design and this is supposed to get, you can take it off the stack or off the ground. We're going to have to modify this later because it's a little bit too, too big, uh, but we'll figure that out. We're also working on um, the paper airplane launcher, the drone launcher. Is that what you have in mind? Uh, the idea is like we're going to have this like triangle kind of rubber band. So like it's pulled taut on this three points. And on the third point, it's going to be held by two servos like pinching down. And when you want to launch, it lets go and the tension sends the paper airplane flying. Uh, for a little design that we made was just these simple hooks allows us to hook onto this and hang. And when we turn off the robot, we noticed that the motors would let go and it would fall. So we built a latch with the servo in here to latch on a screw so it can lift it up and hold it up. A question from Helen Saunders, which is, how are you planning on articulating that many arm joints? Well, we're just trying to, well, I don't really know how to explain. Working. Yeah, we're working on it. We'll make it. We'll make it. All right. Another question, which is from Stateline Homeschool Robotics, which is, how do you plan to get points in Endgame? Uh, by hanging on the pole. Can you talk to us, like, uh, what mechanism you're looking at hanging this or anything like that? Or what do you got for ideas on this? Uh, well, this is our gripper and it also is strong enough to hold or a gripper will go on the front but the these little hooks on the back we already tested and they're able to sustain the weight of our robot when you pull up and hang on the pole a question from Ibrahim Mahmoud which is why do you plan to use a rubber band for a shooter over a compliant wheel shooter uh, we were gonna do I, I had like a I had a, a prototype for like a wheel, kind of like two wheels shooting it out, kind of like a baseball pitching machine, but it was, uh, we couldn't really find the right size wheel. So we're just for the 30 hour challenge, we're going with the easier rubber band. I got a general question from Riley's Art Corner, which is just, how did y'all come up with this idea? Um, well, we had to figure out an idea of what can get up high, easy to build, and can withstand. Because we knew we wanted to hang by the end of the match. So just a regular little gripper to go up, we knew wasn't going to be able to withstand the weight. A question from Helen Saunders, which is, are you using servos for the arms, or are you planning on using ultra planetary or similar? Well, right now we have two motors. We got one as you can see right in the front. And the other one is hidden in here with bevel gears to make it all 
this top part move, and then this one makes the bottom part move. Uh, they're torque mode. I don't know which one. So. I have a question from Theta Robotics, which is, are you potentially going to use the arm to climb? Um, well, technically we do use the arm to climb, because this is our arm, which is also our gripper. So it kind of does everything. Can you wheel it up to, like, kind of show us how that Yeah. And it works so you don't have to worry about that. I think that's really cool. And anybody I'm looking forward to seeing uh, once you guys get that working, what that's going to look like too, because that's a great design to start with. I know we got a couple more questions. Let's grab those uh, and see what the, the uh, chat has to say. All right, there's a question from Mr. Def Lep, which is how do you ensure you have enough torque to operate that arm? We just have to try, I guess. We don't know yet, but we're going to try our best to make sure that. Well, this is definitely going to be shrunk, shrunken, so it will weigh less. A question from Riley's Art Corner. What are you using for the drone? Oh. Yeah, the, we explained it earlier, but it's like a triangle. So you have like three points you're holding the rubber band. The two points in the front are going to stay. And then the one point in the back is being held back by like a pinch. Like a, yeah, it's kind of like. Kind of like a crossbow. Yes. Yeah. So basically it has holds on by two points and then you like pull it back and then you, you put like the airplane in between and then it just launches it. Yeah, and it's held back by two servos that are pinching down basically on the airplane. And it's like it's constantly going. And then once you want it to go, you just release. We're going to take our uh, the next two questions in chat. If any more come in, we'll take those uh, offline with the team. Uh, but we've got two more we'll take here. There's a question from Kleb. Do you plan to hold two pixels at a time? If so, how? Right now, we're only trying to get one for the 30 hour bill. But definitely after the 30 hour bill, we're going to try to make a claw design to, or an intake design to be able to take two pixels in. And then one last question from Helen Saunders. Do you have an internal game piece transfer system or are you using the same intake slash outtake? Uh, we are using the same intake slash outtake. Awesome. So as we start to wrap up with you guys, uh, what are you looking at accomplishing tonight? What's kind of your number one priority to get done? My or our biggest accomplishment tonight is just getting an intake on there and then getting it programmed so we can pick up a pixel and place it on there. Awesome. So make sure make sure you stay tuned to ninety two twenty five. What they have to have. Any other questions that come in, uh, we will uh, try to uh, answer afterwards. We'll get it on camera as well too, as we still have a few more teams to get to as well too. So let's give ninety two twenty five a big round of applause for their awesome job tonight. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in first scholarship. Scholarship applications will open in September. Get ready to go pro and get more information at kettering.edu slash first. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.